Good morning. Happy Friday. It is July 19th. Um, I am News River Witch, and today is vlog three. Um, so this is number three in the series that will be, will be part of my vlog. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about wellness, and then I'm going to also do a, a single card poll at the end. Um, so I want to talk to you today about what your goals are for becoming a rounded person, right? How do you become happy, right? So for me, some years ago, actually around this month, I was vis visiting um, my dear sister and uh, we went for a walk around uh, the Capitol and the next day I could barely move. Um, I couldn't get in and out of the car. Um, it was, <clears throat> it was really my moment that I realized I needed to do something. I weighed close to 300 pounds and, um, I was unhappy. I was in pain. My doctors had told me I was just going to need a hip replacement. I was going to need my knees replaced. And I was advised that I would probably need to start a uh, diabetic medication. Um, on that trip, I saw how um, they were able, you know, the, my, my family were able to get out and move around and be on their deck and have barbecues and, and move without pain. And I thought, you know, I need to be there. So I started my wellness journey and um, I, I decided I needed to have three steps right? Three steps to bring myself into a, a solid wellness practice. Um, the first step is your spiritual center. Um, it doesn't matter what your spiritual center is. It doesn't matter if you're Buddhist or Muslim or Christian or a pagan or a witch, um, whatever your spiritual center is, find that spiritual center and dedicate time to it. Um, on a personal note, what I did is I threw myself into the Covenant of Hecate. Um, I began working diligently um, to provide as much service as I could. I, you know, was working on my um, sanctuary. I made videos and I still do that today. Um, that was my spiritual center. That's what gave me um, really my purpose, right? Your step two is going to be to care for your body. Right. And that's where that trip really brought into my attention of changes that I needed to make in my life. Um, one of the things that I did right away was I completely gave up dairy. Right. No milk, no cheese, no butter, no ice cream. None of that. Um, I did research. I read about what how milk is made, where it comes from. I, you know, I understood that milk actually is intended to take a baby calf from its birth weight to 300 pounds as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what it does to the human body. It takes you from your set weight and amplifies. I mean, it is like a supercharged way. Milk was introduced into our diet. Cow's milk was introduced into the schools um, during, just after the depression when children were so thin um, and they wanted a way to fatten them up to save them. And if you read about it, just look through that information. Um, and, and understand where these, um, it does a body good, you know, where these marketing campaigns come from. Find that, that area in your body that you can improve. Um, one thing that I do is I start my day with a glass of water every morning, right? Every morning, one full glass of water. Um, the majority of us run around dehydrated most of the time. So full glass of water. Um, the next thing I do is I drink herbal tea, right? We talked about before. I drink Rubio's uh, tea, and I'm Rubio's. I may be saying that wrong, but I drink this tea. It's a red tea. Um, it actually helps with iron, which I am. I have been anemic my entire life. This actually helps me with that, as well as providing some other essential vitamins and nutrients. Um, the next thing I addressed for my wellness journey was uh, the food, right? Um, the food itself. I, as I mentioned, I gave up dairy. I didn't want to have any of that. And then I slowly moved myself into where I am today, which is 100% um, vegan. Um, when I started my journey, I was 
over, I was, I was over 300 pounds and now I'm at 139 at my last official weigh-in. Um, so I've lost a significant amount of weight. I am off all of my prescription medications, which play havoc on your body that those chemicals just destroy your body. Um, I don't need uh, any diabetic medication, I don't need a hip replacement surgery, and I don't need knee replacement surgery. So focus and caring on your body is going to bring you to a point of being well holistically. Um, and then the final one, uh, step three, is going to be live unapologetically. Now that last one, right, it seems easy, oh sure I can do that, it's a challenge. Um, I really didn't start doing that until the last probably eight months of this year. Um, I've mentioned it before. I, I was a very, I was a person who tried to please everyone. I took everything that everyone said and I just stuffed it inside and I carry it with me everywhere I went. Um, from being told as a child that I was fat and stupid and I would never amount to anything to being with abusive, uh, an abusive partner. Um, luckily, I'm not there now, but previously abusive partners who, you know, did not, who, they weighed their wealth, wealth on pushing me down. Um, I was, uh, even my family, so any, even things that were said, maybe in jest or that were um, something that, shouldn't have really meant anything. I took it and I wore it as a badge and I beat myself up with that club every single day, every day. And then I was in the car. I mentioned the story before, but I was in the car um, with my husband and I was singing under my breath, right? And um, I said out loud, as I often do, just spontaneously speak. I get in trouble for that sometimes. But I said out loud, these songs are much better if you just sing, right? If you try to sing low, you can't really sing. And he looked across the truck at me and he said, so sing. And it still makes me tear up. I don't think even he knows how powerful that was for me. And I sang. And I think that's the first time I felt that my voice was able to be heard. And it catapulted me into where I am today, making these videos for other people to help them be who they want to be. Not who I want you to be, you know, be who you want to be. Um, I think that's important. So finding, living un unapologetically is singing, right? Sing your song, play your guitar, you know, play your flute. Um, find the things that bring you joy and live them and don't let someone else, someone else's opinion, someone else's, you know, moral compass guide you. You are the one in control of your life. You are in control of your wellness. And in my opinion, these three steps will help you get there. Um, whew, okay. So that was a little powerful this morning. Um, we are going to do a quick reading. This reading is going to come from my River Witch Oracle deck. Um, this deck is available on my website. You can certainly go and check that out. Um, this is already a fairly long video, so I won't go too deeply in it today, but we are going to pull a card. So here we go. Let's pull this card. Our card today is the Longleaf Pine. Let's give it a little tilt, get the glare. Okay. The longleaf pine is the state tree of North Carolina. Our um, keywords today are endurance, legacy, and renewal. I think this card plays really, really well into the vlog for today. Um, so endurance, um, you got to hang in there. You got to keep going. I know it seems like the world is at odds with itself. I mean, there's so many things to be upset about right now. We've got Gaza, we've got the U.S. presidential election, we've got, I mean, the world as a whole. <laughs> um, hang in there. Yeah, just hang in there. Bring your energy, bring your positiveness. Together we can get through it. Legacy, right? Legacy is what, who, what stands behind you. Um, I didn't get where I am today um, through my own accord. Um, there were people who were here before me. There were energies here before me, and that energy should be honored. So if you have a spot in your home, if you have a 
place where you can add some sort of, of icon that you can use to honor the ancestors. Take that opportunity. Do that. It will help you. Trust me. Draw on that energy. Find one that you connect with and draw on that energy. If you don't have one in your family tree, adopt one. Okay? Find someone you admire. Find a friend. Your family of choice is just as valid as your birth family and sometimes more so. <clears throat> and finally, we have renewal. Renewal, coming back, it's that seed, it's that, it's that growth, it's that come back to where you need to be and be a part of society on your own terms. You don't have to fit into a box. Life is living outside the boxes, so don't let someone stifle your creativity or stifle who you are. Become who you want to be and put that light forward. I hope the reading was helpful for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, blo the vlog today on wellness. Um, if you have questions, if you'd like to, to reach out, please feel free to leave me a comment. Um, remember to subscribe. I'd love to get more um, more visualizations out there. You know, the more people subscribe, the more other people will be shown the video. Um, so yeah, have a glorious Friday, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.